Give us 60 minutes and we'll give you Nelson Radio every Saturday from 2 to 3 p.m. on KTLK AM 1150. With 29 years in the mortgage business and an array of top-level guests visiting the show, Nelson is in a unique position to bring you cutting-edge information on real estate, business, finance, and law. If you have any questions for Nelson or any of his guests, give him a call at 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. Or check him out online at nelsonradio.com. Nelson Radio. Welcome back to Nelson Radio. We've been breaking down risk. I'm with Marco Rufo from Prudential California Realty out in Pacific Palisades. This segment brought to you by the law office of Michael L. Fell. Michael being one of the recognized top five criminal defense attorneys down in Orange County and does a fabulous job for his clients. Call us direct, 888 2136. That's 888 2136. Or you can always click through to nelsonradio.com. And we want to hear your questions. Marco, we want them to stump us with these different issues that we're bringing up. And the, our next guest, Saitsi from Changing a Generation and the Pacific Institute, uh, really does share perspective. And I was excited to introduce the two of you. Saitsi, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Good to be back. Saitsi is a dynamic story. Is a young woman, an 18-year-old girl, gets on a plane, flies solo to immigrate to the U.S., shows up with $100 in her wallet, and has built this unbelievable initiative on looking back at her home country, Bulgaria, which leads the European communities in human trafficking and having now wanting to make a difference in terms of not just address the 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 challenge or the crisis the tragedy of human trafficking but to curb it and eventually eliminate that altogether tell us about it tell us about that what you talk about we talk about risk tell us what how you felt risky and jumping on a plane and flying to a new country yes definitely well you know there is always danger in everything that you do when you're risking something but fear is a choice. And I always believe that principle that I have the choice today to either be afraid in a new situation that I'm in or to actually say, what is my recovery point? Where am I going? What is my final destination in this? And when I showed up in this country, I only had one option, and that is I'm going to make it, and I'm going to be a well-known speaker around the world so I can help millions of people, and especially orphans and kids that were on the streets. And because of a vision that is greater than myself, when we have that perspective, I believe, Nelson, that is when we can risk our entire life because it's no longer about us, it's about the rest of the people. And that's when risk is actually worth it. And it's interesting, because obviously the buying and selling of homes, we're, we're not making death-defying decisions. We're not walking that two-inch tightrope across Grand Canyon like like Nick came up as a, as a good idea. But there's certainly people that you're dealing with in the marketplace, Marco, that feel that it's high, high risk. High risk, it's everything that they have in their savings for some people, mm-hmm. the 401ks, uh, et cetera. So, I mean, it would just happen a few years ago when people lost all their money in their 401ks. I mean, they went from being extremely wealthy to very poor. I led that charge. <laughs> yeah, no, it was fantastic. It was really a great ride. But, you know, what she was saying, uh, Nelson, I, I got to tell you, you know, what a recipe for success, those first few comments that she was making. So with that, I mean, obviously risk is icky and scary. Mm-hmm. And you have your involvement as a project director for the Pacific Institute. Correct. And they are, in my vernacular, coaching individuals and organizations around the world. Mm-hmm. You're dealing with risk in your coaching and your training with uh, the Pacific Institute, correct? Absolutely. And what the Pacific Institute does is really offers principles to people which become tools on how to expand their current comfort zone so that they can approach a new risk, a new territory without the fear of what's going to happen next. And uh, if I could quote something that Lutais, the co-founder of the Pacific Institute, said uh, prior to uh, his death last year is uh, he always said that our life is in reality our belief whatever we believe we actually bring to pass and when we look at our life currently and where we're at why are we afraid right now 
because our mind cannot connect to something that's in the future. We're only designed to really be able to focus and live in the present. But when we begin to focus in the future of the ifs and what if not, and oh my goodness, I could fail even if I purchased a home or if I uh, got married, you know, there are people that are listening right now with various different stories and backgrounds in their life, when we dwell too much on the future, we become fearful. When we dwell too much on the past, we actually bring in um, the anger, the resentment of uh, former things that have happened to us. And what the Pacific Institute really does is helps us form a better replacement picture of what our life could look like the next time. If we had made a mistake, let's say somebody bought a house right. and they made a bad choice, what our brain does is it recollects all of the experiences of all of the feelings, everything that we have. And the next time you go to buy a new property, a new home, or you're getting ready to make another life-changing decision, the brain begins to actually evaluate, have I seen something like this before? Okay, I have. I failed the last time. Marco, you know, does, does that happen? Do you see that people you know, bringing it, their baggage, if you will, into the yeah. next transaction? Absolutely. You know, it, it's their guilt. And mm -hmm. guilt, you know, there's this saying, I, I forget who told me this, but guilt is a thief of time. And that's what she's talking about right now. It's their guilt mm -hmm. of what they did prior. Exactly. It does not allow them to transcend into the future. So that, that said, with one of the companies you were working with, a uh, health benefits company, mm -hmm. and they were obviously looking down the road in the future, but exactly. uh, fear struck in terms of Obamacare. Yes. Uh, how'd you coach them through that? Basically, having a new picture of what is it going to look like when that actually happens? How are you going to see yourself successful through that? Because they obviously made it until this point. And coming up with new ideas, new strategies of trans transitioning from from fear of we're going to fail and lose our entire company to, oh no, we're going to be good at this because we have it on the inside. I believe that when you begin to build yourself on the inside, despite of any circumstance on the outside, you can overcome because your self-talk, if you're confident that you're going to make it, it's your self-talk that dictates how you're going to run through the situation and how you're going to come on the outside. And one of the top people that runs the company, I mean, he, she just wrote me and she said, you know, I feel so much more confident and free to be myself in this whole transition without having the stress. And this is what the Pacific Institute helps people to accomplish new things without the stress of the risk by taking themselves there prior to even getting there. And it's done through being able to visualize the situation, being able to see the outcome in the end, and then to say, okay, I I now have it. It's my new belief. It's my new system. And it's done through pictures, words, and emotions. So before we close here, I want you to comment on something that you had shared with me. And this would be helpful for both Marco and I in our business place, in our business practice, as we consult mm -hmm. to our clients. And that is the th issue of forward coaching versus backward coaching. Correct. You know, a lot of times we go back thinking that if I can just look at the mistake that I made, I'm not going to make it the next time. And because our mind only focuses on that particular vision and we don't give a new replacement picture to the mind, the next time you try to do something without clarifying the picture of how it's going to look like better, then the mind will automatically recollect the past and bring it into a new present situation and become your new reality in a new situation from a past experience. So forward coaching is uh, to yourself, really, you're your own coach, is to be able to say, what is this going to look like next time? And give a vivid example in your mind with pictures and emotions, because emotions travel 80,000 times faster than our thoughts. And so when the emotion is connected to that picture, then you're able to really go for it. You've got momentum. Exactly. Really insightful. I, You know, I think that as you train these different corporations, mm -hmm. uh, bringing that kind of mindset and that change in mindset, it's going to bring a risky environment, which is our economic environment today. It's going to bring those emotions down, just like the health benefits executive experience, Correct. and uh, have us focus on what we do. I, I know that Nick Walenda, crossing the Grand Canyon, wasn't thinking about ROI and, and uh, these different world issues. He was thinking about that two inches in front of him. 
for the 22 minutes it took mm-hmm. for him to cross. And so I like the idea of just angst-free kinds of decision-making and having that kind of focus. Exactly. Great coaching. If you're Thank out you. there and, and looking for dynamic influence in changing your company's mindset or your individual mindset, we want to ask you to give us a call. That's Saitsi from the Pacific Institute. This segment presented by the law office of Michael L. Fell, one of Orange County's top five criminal defense experts. Three easy ways to connect with us. 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. Or text my name, Nelson, to 31. 31- 3131 or click through on nelsonradio.com. Saitsi, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back. Nelson is a licensed lender under the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 331060. This is Nelson from Nelson Radio, and it's important that we talk about a very serious issue. We had bad lending practices that led to the mortgage meltdown, but now we've got the challenge of deplorable customer service coming out of the meltdown. Bottom line, getting a new loan can be like pulling teeth without Novocaine. I've got the solution. Academy Mortgage and my team are injecting into the industry real performance and real accountability. Here are the facts. Appraisals in less than a week. Rate guarantees that can improve if the market goes down. Purchase transactions with our market-exclusive close-on-time guarantees and refinance transactions in as little as 30 days. Who would have thunk? Guaranteed rates and guaranteed performance from your mortgage lender. Call me, Nelson, an accountable loan expert for nearly three decades, direct at 888-888-2136. That's Nelson at 888-888-2136, 888-888-2136, or at strongcreditrewards.com.